Hey guys, from Bozo, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be taking a look at 901 Lone Star Season 3 Episode 2. So without further ado, let's get it started. A bullet wound. It looks like he was stabbed in a brachial artery. Okay, uh, I need you to go over to the dresser and get me a clean pair of socks and a bottle of vodka. Yeah, sure. You're gonna have to cauterize this wound. Come back, try to get him to open up his mouth, see if he'll bite down on the sock. Uh, don't try to get him a drink first. Well, the vodka's for us. Sir? 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 I need you to wake up. I need you to open your mouth. Awesome. Sorry, amigo. Power across the state, and nowhere is the situation more dire than here at Providence Pasture Church, where I'm told that in addition to a young volunteer stuck inside, a firefighter was trapped during a rescue operation. Yeah, we gotta get in there before you saw our boys put a red tag on the whole building. If they do, there's a good reason for it. There has to be 20,000 pounds of ice on that structure. Maybe we can get you some ladders and chainsaws to start removing the bigger pieces. Yeah, well, with all due respect, sir, that would take a couple of days. That's better than the roof of Damocles crashing down on your heads right now. Dispatch to Captain Tatum. Dispatch to Captain Tatum. Judd, you saw what happened the last time we went in. We don't even know Paul or that girl's status. Where are the fire trucks? That must be done. Great. TK, park the ring right here. Uh, we're sliding. We're sliding. Or not. All right, TK, get the echo machine ready to go. Okay. Insert the warming fluids. Nancy, help me with the gurney. And careful where you step. No one needs a broken tailbone. Copy. Copy. He's out there. Put my hand on the ice over where he is so the firefighters can find the point space. Anybody copy? Hello? <laughs> Lindsay. Charlie Wall. Thank you, dispatch. Appreciate the assist. Anytime, firefighter rider. Hang in there, bro. We're coming for you. Hey, you do you. We'll be right here. Lindsay, you saved the day. What are you talking about? You fixed the radio. That was clutch. I just fixed the loose ribbon cable. Nothing clutch about it. No, no. Because of you, we're because getting out of here. Because of me? 
We're trapped here. I should have gotten out with everyone else. But when the roof started coming down, I froze. It's all good. Come on. Take, I need you to prep the femoral. Okay. Are those turtles? You're in shock from the cold. We were taking them to the aquatic warming center before things were practically frozen solid. Yeah, can you relate? Yeah, man. Needle? Bad wire. Okay. You ready to cannulate? Hit me. Cannulating femoral artery. Forceps. Oh, come on. Babe. Hey, I got a pulse and another one. That's it, let's go. Come on, buddy. You got this. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. Keep it coming. Come on. Ooh. It's all right. You're okay. You're gonna be okay. Wow. Where can I get me one of those ECMOs for my turtles? They're online. They retail for about a hundred k. Oh. Good on you. What are you? From Chicago. We like it frosty. We could try to redirect the Rick team to the Delta wall. Button hook there, back around in the locker room. That'll never work. Because that whole Delta wall is like a hedge maze through hell. What are you guys doing out here? Well, we couldn't get to it from the inside. So what do you suggest? We come from the outside. We grab a couple of pneumatic jackhammers off of that truck. We could punch a hole right through that cinder block wall. And we'll be in the locker room. Maybe so. Oh. Good. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, Cap. Hey, got some blankets for you, babe. I'm good, thanks. Said the guy getting frostbite on his ass. That's it, get away! That's it, get away! Hey, stop, stop, stop. I was burning up and these it feels better. Combativeness is a symptom of severe hypothermia. We're just putting that together. Yeah, I'm a... Okay. Yeah. Now he's speaking in tongues? I'm pretty sure it's Hebrew. TK, all your blood has left your extremities. It's around your core now. That's why you feel so hot. It's called paradoxical undressing. It means you're near... Okay. 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 VTech, got a shot. Charging. fire truck across town to bring me English breakfast tea? Yeah, and I got you them ginger chews you like when your tummy gets upset. Okay. Yeah, I got you some cough drops, just in case, just in case. Sweet. 
sweetheart, I told you on the phone that I was okay. I know. I just wanted to come by and check on my girls, that's all. Okay. Well, your girls are fine. And they appreciate you, but if you leave your crew outside any longer, they are the ones that are going to need the medicinals. Go get them out the pole. Hey, holler at me on the radio if you need anything. Okay. Anything. I will. I promise. Oh, hey. You heard from Marjana? Did she make it up to the own okay? What? You said that he wanted me here. I did kind of say that, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah, well, that was a lie. A lie? Why? Why would you Excuse lie about me. I'm sorry to interrupt. Are you one of the paramedics that rescued the boy in the ice? Yes. You're a hero. No. The hero is my friend, TK, who went into the drink to save your son. How is he doing, by the way? The doctors say Abe is going to make a full recovery. I just want you to know how grateful we are and that we are all praying for your friend. Thank you. It hurts. Where are we? Barn. I'm in bed, I cannot save you. We find you in the storm. Right, you in here. Who's we? What happens? Con cuidado, no le digas nada a este. Me puede ser con ellos, puede ser la migra. Mejor que lo dejamos afuera. He thinks I'm police? None. No te confies en él. I got that one of them. He was injured. In fact, I was looking for him. He was going there. That's him. That's the guy. That's it! Ah! Todos en la pared! the guy you've been running from. So they're making this a three-parter. Maybe it's going to be four parts, you know. Episode three and four might be even this. So far, so good. Please don't tell me they're killing off TK now. Like, he was already in a coma last season. Then he, Because of what happened, he got shot by that kid. And then he came out of it, and then he was good, and then he had that cancer scare thing. No, no, that was his pops, but no. They tried to kill TK at least twice, uh, at least once uh, uh, last season, but then he was fine. So don't tell me they're about to kill him off this season. Like, come on. Like, please don't. I don't know. I gotta check if the guy, the actor, is leaving. I hope he's not. He's actually really good. I like his character. But yeah, anyways. Marjan... We didn't even see that much of her. I'm glad she's okay, though. I'm glad we got to see something of, like, her actually waking up and getting out of the car and stuff like that. So I can't wait to see what happens there. I'm glad Paul is okay. Thank God, you know. They're not killing her. So far, this arc, like, the season three opening arc, like, from one to two and now going on three, hopefully, and four. It was really interesting. I like it. The snow, the snow's theme. It's really interesting, man. I can't wait to see the next episode. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next video.